Welcome to the Academy, a series focused on the basics of Star Wars The Old Republic. In this episode, we'll be discussing how to customize our user interface and the other elements that show up on our screen. The Sutter user interface is highly customizable. You can decide what shows up where, how big it is, and even if it shows up at all on your screen. There are two main places where you can edit what shows up on your screen while you play Sator, the main preferences panel and the user interface panel. To get to the settings, press Escape Preferences. On the controls tab on the left, some settings that always turn on include deselect target upon clicking terrain. This setting lets you disengage anything you've targeted by easily clicking on the ground. Very handy when you want to take screenshots. The next set of settings is in the User Interface tab on the left. If you want to switch up how you watch cutscenes, you can turn subtitles on or off in these settings, as well as turn off the indicators that show whether a choice is dark side or light side. A setting I recommend every player turn on is Show Detailed Item Tooltips. When you get new gear, this setting will allow you to see exactly what stats the new armor piece has when you roll over it. You can also edit what nameplates you see in the nameplates panel. The ones I check and uncheck the most often is on enemy NPCs, friendly players, and enemy players. Turning off nameplates completely can help your game's performance. And on the flip side, turning them all on can make it easier to know what's going on in a fight. Speaking of performance, the graphics panel is also in these settings. If Sotor runs very slowly or stutters for you, try turning down the graphics quality preset. Another setting that makes a huge performance difference is turning the shadows off. It doesn't look as good, but it makes the game run a lot faster. Another thing you might want to turn on and off in your screen is the fly text on the left. The numbers that pop up when you deal or receive damage from an enemy. As a tank, I like them turned off because I would rather watch my health bar. DPS often like them on because they can see exactly how hard they're hitting the boss. If you want to edit the actual panels that show up on your screen, like the map, and your quick bars, you can use the interface editor. To open the interface editor, press escape interface editor. The editor is great because not only can you edit everything on your screen, you can also save different interface presets. For example, I could have an interface for roleplaying where almost everything is hidden, or an interface for rating where things like buffs and divas are made very big. I even have a special interface I made for this series where I've hidden the necessary parts of the interface and made everything extra big so you can see it. To save your current interface settings as a new interface, type a new name in the box, then press the floppy disk symbol beside it to save it. To load up an old interface, choose it from the drop down at the top and press the page icon to load it. The best part is interfaces are shared across all your characters. You can create your perfect interface, then share it across all your characters. When you open the interface editor, by default, you can edit what you normally see when you play. Things like the menu, the map, your quick bars, and your health bar. There's a drop down called Main HUD that, HUD that you can choose from if you want to edit things like conversation interface or your stronghold interface. To edit an individual panel on your screen, simply click its colored box. A bunch of settings will appear for it on the interface editor, including a checkbox to enable it, an opacity slider, a scale slider for size, and occasionally some special options unique to that panel below everything else. With so many options available, it's up to you to find your perfect setup. When creating a new interface, I usually load up the advanced default interface and go from there, turning on the things I need and turning off the ones I don't want to see. I also often turn down the opacity of things I'm familiar with, like my abilities and the main menu, so I can see more of Sator's beautiful scenery. While every setting is mostly personal preference, there are some non-default settings that I recommend all players turn on, especially if you're doing group content. Target of Target is one of the best secrets hidden in the interface editor. If you're doing PvP war zones, it will allow you to see who exactly your enemy is attacking and allow you to plan around that. If you're in a flashware operation, it will allow you to see which of your groupmates the boss is currently attacking. The boss is always supposed to be on the tank, but sometimes it isn't, and if you're a DPS or a healer, Knowing the boss is on you might give you enough warning to use a defensive cooldown and save yourself until a tank can pick it up again. For tanks, the target of target setting allows you to know exactly when you've accidentally lost the boss and will let you know when you need to use an emergency taunt. To turn target of target on, 
Look for it near the target's frame in the bottom right, then enable it. It should be red to start with. Another setting worth playing with if you are PvPing or doing operations is the Buffs and Debuffs panel. You could change your interface by making your debuffs really big so you know something bad is happening to you. There's also a checkbox on the interface editor to separate personal effects and sort them by time or duration. Tanks doing operations will especially want to play with their debuff settings because many fights require tank swaps when they have a certain number of stacking debuffs on. Many players also play a lot with their quick bars, exactly where they go, how big they are, and where they are in relation to the other quick bars. On my character I'm familiar with, I have my quick bars fairly small because I have a lot of abilities tied to keybinds and know exactly where they are already. On my character I'm not very familiar with, I made the quick bars huge so I could see everything and served my abilities so I could easily see what order I should be using them in. On my leveling characters, I turned off all the extra quick bars because I only have like three abilities to start with. Outside of battle, there's also a few things you can move out of the way depending on what you want to see. You can't hide the cartel market symbol, but you can make it smaller, lower its opacity, and move it out of the way till you need it. Don't forget when you're moving things around, there's also a handy grid to help you line things up. If you want to try out some interfaces that other players have made, you can visit SwtorUI.com SWTORUI.com Make sure to read their frequently asked questions to learn how to install the interface files first. With so many settings available on the interface editor, you're bound to find something you like. Every player's interface is unique, so don't be afraid to customize yours up. If you want to show your support for this series, or to get notified when the next episode of the Academy comes out, subscribe to this channel.